friends. I'd like to welcome you back into the studio today for another fun drop-in art session. My name is Janice Baylor and I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors to continue to bring us drop-in art online. Today we are going to make a very beautiful and springtime appropriate um, rainbow cloud wind catcher. So if you would like to join me to make this fun project, stay tuned. The supplies are coming right up. For today's project, you will need a white paper plate, an assortment of colorful streamers or pieces of tissue paper, some glue dots or uh, craft glue, a stapler with staples, a pair of scissors, some cotton balls, or pieces of fluffy cotton, and maybe some pieces of twine or string. To get started, take your paper plate and fold it in half to make a half circle. And this is going to be the base of our cloud. And then we are going to staple it together at the top, or you could use glue dots if you wish. So just place a few staples around the top edge to keep it in the half circle, or you could cut it apart if you want to make more than one. And now we are going to add our streamers. So I have mine in sort of a modified rainbow. So I have a pink and an orange and a yellow, a green and a blue. And I am going to staple those, or I'm gonna use glue dots and adhere those to the back side of my cloud. So let me find the end of my glue dot strip here. And I'm just going to try to evenly space them across the back. But it doesn't matter too much. I just think even spacing is generally best. I'm going to go ahead and space my glue dots sort of evenly across the back and then adhere my streamers in place. You can do this, of course, with regular glue or staples. So whatever you have or whatever is easiest for you to work with. And there you can see our rainbow is kind of starting to form already. And then I'm going to add some raindrops to mine. So to make raindrops, I'm going to take my piece of twine and using another piece of crepe paper or tissue paper, make a drop shape. So I am going to just add like little raindrops. So they are kind of like a petal shape or an oval with a pointy end. So sort of a squished oval and you can just freehand cut these or you can draw it out first and then cut out around what you drew. And then I'm just going to use my glue dot again and adhere this together. So put my one piece of my string at the top of my drop. And then I'm going to add my drop onto my rainbow with another glue dot. For the other side. So you do not have to make the drops if you do not want to. That's totally up to you. You're the artist and it is your piece of artwork. So you do what you like, but this is just another way to add a little bit more interest to your art by adding different shapes and colors. So repeat that step of adding the glue dot. And then what we have to do is add all of the fluffy texture to our cloud and rainbow. So go ahead and pull some pieces from your cotton ball or whatever fluffy texture you have. This is some of like Halloween spider web and I'm just going to kind of cut mine to fit. But if you have cotton balls, you could just pull them apart 
and glue them one by one to fill up your space. And then add your glue. Or if you're having cotton balls, you can glue those all down one at a time to fill it in and make your fluffy cloud texture. A few dots of glue and then adding on your fluff. And there you have a beautiful raindrop rainbow cloud. If you add a few beans inside, you could make a fun noise maker, um, or you could hang it up and have a beautiful sun catcher. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative.